my name is Tini Yonis from thereshebrews.com and today I'm going to be doing my very first brew review and it's actually a coffee from Blue Bottle which is actually perfect because Blue Bottle was the first third wave coffee rooster in the Bay Area. Uh, if you're not familiar with that terminology, first wave was when America first became completely obsessed with coffee in the late 1800s and the early 1900s. Then instant coffee came, changed the game for everyone. Uh, then uh, also dummy down Americans' taste buds, at least for coffee. Uh, then in the 80s and 90s, Pete's and Starbucks became popular and that represents the second wave. The third wave is when coffee really reached, at least I think so at this point, its peak, uh, where uh, origin is very much something highlighted, um, and this one in particular actually is from Ethiopia, the home of coffee. It's a Yurgachev, uh, it's also from Yurgachev region in the east of Ethiopia, and it's called Galena uh, Abaye. I actually went in looking for this from the Said, also from Blue Bottle, but I wanted this to be my first review, but the barista said this is actually better. So let's go ahead and start it. I will actually should also say this is naturally processed, which means the berry was actually dried on the bean, so it wasn't taken off in the early stages. What that's supposed to do is actually impart some of the sweetness you'll find in the berry, and uh, it really, for me, I think it's, well, you can't say that natural coffees are your favorite because they can be done badly as well, but I really do love a great natural. I'm going to be brewing on my Chemex here. Um, I love the way that the Chemex makes coffee taste. It's, um, it's considered a drip method and filtered as well, and the filter really gives you a really clean cup of coffee, leaving um, the kind of bitter oils that can be on coffee. Um, yeah, out of the equation. So let's go ahead and let's get brewing. Let's get it started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do actually is weigh out my coffee. I'm going to be doing it via Chemex, so I'm going to go ahead and put in 35 grams of these uh, coffee beans. And I really love this uh, particular scale. It's the CJ4000 and it really does an amazing job of weighing it out properly. I actually went through a couple of different scales and this one is the best. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grind this coffee. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Chem X. I'm gonna pour in my coffee and actually have it a little bit more coarse than the drip setting on my, my stove. It smells amazing. It smells so good. Okay, perfect. And this process is actually called the bloom. I let it sit for 30 seconds. I did my first pour. Now I'm gonna be doing my second pour. Very similar though. I'm just going to go into circles. So at this point, we've already reached our four minute maximum. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the filter. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shake this. Now it's time for the review. So the blueberry um, definitely starts, in, it's a very first flavor. For me, it starts in blueberry, it goes into vanilla flavors and finishes caramel. It's such a obvious transition. I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. He was right. I actually did like the Conga Sayid because it did have uh, extreme blueberry notes. I've never had a coffee with this much blueberry. Like so obvious. This is something that I would want to keep on my shelf forever. It's just very mature. Um, this caramel leads itself into kind of like chocolatey, but very subtle for me. For me, the major notes of this is the vanilla caramel, and then the beginning being the um, the, the blueberry. The acidity is very nice. It's um, subtle. I know um, Ethiopian coffees are known for being really high acidity, and it might be again from the Chemex. It's uh, for me pretty subtle. Um, yeah, it's, this is a gorgeous cup of coffee. I highly recommend it. So if you're in the Bay Area traveling or if you live here, I highly recommend trying this coffee. It's fantastic. Um, I got it in this uh, 12 ounce, or this is actually, yeah, in this 8 ounce bag, which is not a lot of coffee. But this is actually a experience for sure. Well, that's it for me today. 
Thank you so much for being here for my very first brew review for thereshebrews.com. I'm going to be doing so much more. I'm actually going to be heading off the four barrel this week, so expect another one next week. I plan on doing these about once a week. Um, next time, I will probably break out my siphon, which is my new favorite coffee toy. Actually, it does make a superior cup of coffee. The immersion, because the coffee actually, like a French press, um, is in it's immersed in the water, and then to filter down to the second level, um, but it's actually vacuumed in, it uh, offers really amazing, amazing, just the body and the flavor is out of control. But the Chemex for me, it's, I like the subtleties that come out of it when you do it that way. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, au revoir.